Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. In the last part, we held off the droid, or the CIS's attack on Kamino. Dooku has begun to set up a long-range sensor station on Renvar. Stop them, we will, and take this station for our own use. Okay, we've discovered a separatist outpost on Renvar, captured all command posts in the area, used the ice caves to flank the enemies. So yeah, now we're attacking Renvar. If you played Star Wars The Clone Wars game, um... You'll know all about Renvar, blah blah blah. That storyline doesn't really come in here, instead you're just attacking a sensor station. So yeah, whatever. Um, The game tells you to use the ice caves to flank the enemy. That does not work for the Republic. The destroyers just tear them to shreds, and once you get it, and after you actually push out from the ice caves into the enemy's We're opening, the enemy's you're just going to get torn apart from all sides. Basically, the thing this lover revolves around is the command post the lighthouse, basically. The lighthouse is just everything. See, as you notice, because the droids have such a defensive advantage here, what with the ice caves, anything coming out of their tears to shreds and whatnot, they spawn with only two command posts, so from the start, they are losing post. reinforcements. So if you capture this and control this, they're losing reinforcements the whole time, which is the key to winning this level. This is probably the hardest level in, um, the Clone Wars campaign. There's tougher ones in, like, the Civil War, in my opinion, but this is definitely the hardest for the Clone Wars. So, yeah. Don't really want to move out. You're gonna get torn to shreds. It's too open over there. Just hold this position, and you'll be good. Rarely, very rarely, they will actually overrun the ice caves. What, with the destroyers? I mean, it's not hard, to, too hard to believe, but they don't do that often. I am surprised I did a few test runs of this level in the hard mode. I was actually not having as much trouble with this level as with Kashi, which is surprising because this level is a lot tougher. So, yeah, they weren't even overrunning the ice caves at all in that, so maybe I'll get the same luck here. It's a bit annoying because you have to run in and take that back right away because if they capture the ice caves, if, like if they even out the command post, because remember, you have a destructible command post in that ATTE here. So, if when they take that out, you only have three command posts. They take that out, you only have two. So you're the one losing reinforcements at that point. That's why you want to hold this thing at all costs. Don't try to move out. You just don't. Occasionally it'll work. I mean, it's not like you're going to die every time, but... Oftentimes you're just going to torn to strips. And it's better just to hold this because... Your bot allies are pretty stupid, and they'll sometimes just let the droids come in, march up, even though you got complete high ground advantage here. They'll just let the droids march up, take it. So, oh, you definitely don't want to fall down here, because, again, you don't want your back against the wall in any situation. That's not good. It takes away your maneuverability, which is really a key. Especially, I haven't explained this at all. But if you're moving completely, if you're strafing completely to the side in this game, pushing the jump button while strafing directly to the side will instead allow you to roll. It's kind of annoying how it's the jump button, because sometimes you'll jump when you need to roll. But in the second game, they actually fixed that and gave you know, the button its own commands, but it also took away the unlimited roll, so just bear that in mind. And, uh, what took me in? What? Oh. What was that? I think it hurt what? I don't even know what... Wait, was my idiotic ally trying to fire on one of those AATs and he hit the droid? Oh, what an idiot. Okay, um... Yeah, that's kind of an example of what happens if you try to move out and capture another one. Yes, and see, they captured the ice caves. I thought maybe there would be a bit of a lull in control another area and I could go out and capture another Come command post leaving that out. Up. Instead we're in a lot of trouble right now. I've got to go back and capture that thing right now because we have lost ATTE at this point. So we are losing reinforcements. <laughs> and uh, lucky with that destroyer was almost out of life. So Look at that. Oh ah crap. Now we got to hide under here. You can fire on them again and take out the shield faster but Usually I'll get caught with my pants down and be almost out of ammo at that point in that clip. So they'll have enough time to 
re uh, charge their shield before you can take them out. And these droids are really stupid and not shooting at me, even though I'm right in front of them. In hard mode, you won't get any of that. They're gonna shoot at you. Any, if they see you, they're gonna fire on you. Make no mistake. You sometimes use that to the, your advantage. I think they can run out of ammo. I hope they can run out of ammo. I haven't really tested it too much. By the time I played this game, but whatever. So yeah. Now we're taking this back. Let's get back to that lighthouse because, you know, again, bot allies are complete idiots. Oh, uh, let's just reload and heal up a bit. Then I'll go back out before they do anything. And I might not even be able to get out of these ice caves because, again, destroyers completely own this. Once you get out there, you're just a sitting duck. So, there's really no point in using the ice caves at all. I don't know why the developers thought it was a good idea. Whatever. Maybe they're just being jerks. Laughing at you. Just having a laugh at your expense. Whatever. Oh crap, there's a destroyer right there. That's not good at all. Okay, we gotta spawn back. What? We lost the command post there with someone else there? Oh no, this is not good. This is really bad. This is bad. Uh, come on, move. Cannot let them capture that thing. I cannot let them capture that thing. I'll grade the destroyer setup. Okay, I'll be able to hide behind. Oh, great, this is perfect. I can just stall him until his shield runs out and he can't capture the command. Oh, he buckled up in the rolling ball mode. That was perfect. Huh, I've had a lot of luck against those destroyers. I, I thought I just lost the level right there. But, no. Yeah, if they take back the ice caves, it can be a bit problematic. Or not the ice caves, the freaking lighthouse, but the ice caves is the problem to start all of this because I had to move away, which allowed them to go ahead and capture overrun the lighthouse. But yeah, the lighthouse is the key. If they capture it, you may have a little bit of trouble. Let's just try to snipe a few of these guys. Just so they can't run into the ice caves. Oh yeah, I'm showing off the concussion grenades. Are there other type of grenade? Which are may use purely for vehicles. As you notice, they stick to vehicles. Thermal detonators do not do that. Though thermal detonators still do more damage to vehicles than concussion grenades do, so it's kind of lame, but again, they don't stick, so you have to be a little bit better aim with it. And the second game, they completely get rid of concussion grenades and just make thermal detonators stick to vehicles, and I just got torn apart by that destroyer, so that sucked. Whatever, we're really wearing down their command points, and so, yeah, command points, I guess. Reinforcements, whatever you want. Let's not get killed by this destroyer again, please. Alright, his shield's down. High priority target, I'll take him out before the Super Battle Droid any day, because much more. Gives bots much more trouble than Super Battle Droid does, though. So. All enemy units give your bots trouble. Whatever. Okay, my aim is really off on this dude, okay. Yeah, we really pulled ahead by a bit. Um, Alright, his shield's down. Let's take him out. There. That's just thing to do. Fire off a few bursts to speed up their shield loss. Then recharge before it loses it. So you're not reloading. Recharge, reload while... Yeah, whatever. Reload while their shield's still up. So you don't have to reload while they're recharging and completely use the, lose the advantage. I don't know what the heck that guy was doing. Um, yeah, this battle is slowly cooling down a bit. Kind of got control now. It's pretty much finished. Yeah, they're really running low now. They're down around 30. So this thing is pretty much finished. Just, I can actually probably move up a bit and won't be as problematic. Maybe hold until they're down around 20. And should probably be good. That's my own guy. Yeah, now they can finally flood out of the ice caves. So yeah, if you want to wait till the late stage of the battle, using the ice caves would be good. Yeah. Ice caves are more of an advantage for the boys. 
And whoa! What did that destroyer do? He's like flew up there. Oh my gosh! I am so dead. Crap. Oh no! I think I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. And I'm trying to roll, and I'm jumping like I said earlier. Okay, there we go. Roll. Well, maybe I can take this guy out. All oh, his shields, and I took him out. Okay, I don't care what happens. I took out two destroyers. <laughs> That was awesome. I died a lot later than I expected. I'm still dying this lane, but whatever. This thing's pretty much over. There's only seven guys left, so just take out the stragglers, and that'll be the end of it. Got a few in the ice caves. Okay, one in the ice caves. And obviously, okay. take you out, and I'm almost dead. Okay, just got. Oh, I got killed by the last enemy left. And I could have got the last kill. Maybe I still can. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is, there he is. And I'm missing. Okay, he's dead. Alright, so we took the long range sensor station on Renvar. So the most annoying mission on the Clone Wars is finished. And I had some close calls, and surprisingly, he didn't lose. I haven't actually lost a mission yet, so maybe medium is a bit too easy at this point. I'll see about switching to hard. So yeah, 46 and 7, like, more deaths than usual, but whatever. Okay, public enemy, and survivalist. Survivalist is, I think, where you go down to really low health and then come back to, like, full health or something. So whoever, who, whoever went down to the lowest health and then came back basically gets that. So, with that, we have got the weapons and unit stills. So, let's go ahead and save here. Um, okay, so... Separatist. Shut up. Anyways, we took care of Renvar. In the next part, we'll take on the final battle of the Clone Wars, the Battle of Kashyyyk. See you guys then.